morning hi it is the 17th of march 2021 we're in lockdown number three um but we're on annual leave now as you can imagine annual leave for me and chris means i'm a bit away but it's not happening today so seeing as though we're in lockdown and we're supposed to stay local the plan for today is that we're going to get in the car and travel about a mile and a half to um, a local beauty store called Daisy Nook and then we're going to try to walk up to Hartstead Pike. Now I say try because I last did this walk when I was 15 so that's probably about 35 or 36 years ago. Um, we haven't got a map so we're sort of going on memory. Now we have been online and we've downloaded a few bits and bobs but to be honest I don't think that's going to help us. It might be that we get to the pike, it might be that we don't but I'll check in with you when we get to the car park. See you later! Hello, it's me again. Okay, so it was 3.5 miles here, not a mile and a half, as I said before in the car. So we're just about to start our walk. It is five past ten, so we'll see how we go. Interesting when you come in the summer when all the uh, leaves are out, how different it'll look. Oh, you can't see now, but the um, the pike's in the distance. It's definitely more than a mile. It's in a mile down there. It's not more than a mile. Yeah, it's just enticing you in. They're pretty. And an iris, or a crocus. <laughs> crocus, I like this claw, I 
yellow yeah. as opposed to as opposed to sometimes the white and orangey but i like the proper yellow trumpet daffodils they're my favorite oh favorite flower of all time <laughs> <laughs> and it's not st david's day it's st patrick's day it is st patrick's day so what's the flower of the irish shamrock shamrock or two Is that the pike there? That's it. Enjoying yourself with. Came through a muddy, muddy path, came onto a road, couldn't decide which way to turn. So a very nice couple pointed us in the right direction. And now we're gonna head that way up to the pike. So hopefully it won't be too muddy, but who knows? I'm very muddy anyway, if you can tell. <laughs> oh in the mud. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 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 I didn't notice. The joys of nature. Walking. Here she comes, wallowing in the mud. <laughs> yeah, but when we were at that last um, signpost, we could have carried on on the road or up the footpath, and a gentleman walked past us as we were deliberating. He's now over there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's missed all the fun of the he's mud. Missed, he missed being up to his knees in mud, is what he's missed. Yeah, I mean, and that's it. This is why we walk. <laughs> this is why we wear walking boots. Because? Because we want to wallow in mud. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. We'll think about that one. I'm not as messy as you. Well, you're a poor boy. Yeah. <laughs> Prerogative to be messy. <laughs> made it um, it's 20 past 12 so it's taken us an hour two hours 10 minutes yeah about that so it's not too bad seeing so it was uphill so it shouldn't take us as long going back down because that's downhill uh, pleasant enough walk very very muddy um, this monument was erected in 18 something it says in commemoration of basically Queen Victoria and Prince Albert getting married. 
So that's the um, history, as you can see. Uh, Chris has just met someone who we used to work with uh, at the co-op. And um, you've got the views of Manchester and Oldham out there in the mist somewhere. Quite a nice walk, really. Probably do it again. Um, yeah, I would do it again. It'll be better if it wasn't quite as muddy, though. <laughs> 